This video is to show how I paint a dirty yellow on. I, start, I started off with a white paint because yellow doesn't want to go over black paint, black undercoat. I've started with two layers of flaskets yellow. Um, you could put a third layer on because technically speaking it isn't a perfect layer at this point. So you could put a third coat if you want but I want the armour to end up looking dirty anyway so it doesn't really need it. And for this model I'm going to paint it, paint it so it has a light rust. So for the rust I've started off with lead belcher. The next stage for the, for the yellow. After the silver has been painted, Agrax Earthshade will be used over the silver areas to create a light rust effect. I'm going now to cover all the silver areas in the same manner. At this stage you can see how the rust has been applied. In some areas it will pull more than others so what you might want to do is you might want it to end up repeating the process being more specific next time around. So for example you might want to add rust here because obviously that would be a place where you get a build up of rust. Again see around uh, I've also painted the rubber of the tyres black at the moment and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to dry brush Mechanica standard grey onto the rubber of the tyres I've dry brushed the grey onto the tyres you can't see it too well but basically I've painted some of the saddle so deep in here you can just about see some of the red so I painted the saddle first obviously while you're painting the saddle you tend to make a mess in other places like the leg that was the paint I used the next stage for the purpose of trying to get the leather look I started off with a Bowman's Globe after that I dry brushed it Kessler Flesh and the purpose of dry brushing it means it should pick up some of the edges and it makes it slightly lighter and different that last wash on the brown was Gulfhorn Brown at this point you'll see I've caught up with some of the areas for example um, some of the yellow areas which I didn't previously paint the reason why I didn't paint them is I might accidentally touch them while trying to get into the deeper recesses. I decided to paint them at a later date, but I've now caught up, got all those bits done. The next process, so I'm, for example, that skull there, I'm going to leave white, but the piece around it will end up blue. These three pieces here will be blue, pipes, these bits in the back, cables, stuff like that. And I'm going to use three colours I'll start with Canton Blue I'll apply the first wash first and then I'll wait for that wash to dry once the first is uh, dried then I will apply this again and then I'm going to wet blend it with Hoff Blue and then finally on the top edges this is an older paint, but on the top of edges, I'm going to apply this. At this stage now, as you can see, the blue's been finished. I've done things like the ends of exhausts, and so all needs to be done now. I'm going to use this colour to highlight the yellows just on the tops. I'm not going to try and paint everything basically all I want to do is like cover the top of things like that and there just cover the tops just to make sure where light would catch after that I've got to attach a few bits things like the um, the mud guards that go on front the front of the, some of the wheels or the weapons if you like the video remember to like share and click on the button on the lower right hand side to subscribe